Hi everyone, today we are going to lay out our musical instruments page and we're going to use just the two basic type of layout instruments that we have. So we've got the float property in CSS and we've also got the display property. Now in the original lab, what I had in terms of content was a guitar heading and we had the links and we had our body text and we had a body image. But just to allow me to lay out a number of different sections, I've added to this and I've added in a Google custom search toolbar and I've also added in an audio element from HTML5 and I've embedded in something from Twitter as well. So the basic type of um, code that I'll be seeing is I've got my div wrapper uh, just a div with an ID set to wrapper. I've got my headings before, a horizontal rule, and then I've split my content below that into five different divs. I've got a nav div for the navigation. I've got a search div for my Google search bar. I've got a div with an ID equal to main for the main body content, which is just the text and the image. And I've got a sounds div which is going to hold the HTML5 sound sample. And then I've got my social, my Twitter embed. Now I've just collapsed each of those different div elements, but if I want to explore them out, I can see the inside of them. That's my nav bar. And this is my search. And that's my main. And that's my audio control from HTML5. And then lastly, I've got my social as well. I don't have any styles written at this stage. So all of my different content that's written in each of those different div elements are just stacked one on top of the other going from top down. So my heading, my navbar, my search, my body text, my sounds, and my social. Um, in terms of different types of layout, uh, this is the kind of layout that I'm going to attack first of all. Um, so we're just going to leave the heading at the top and then I want my two different nav and search those two different divs at the top uh, to split the screen in half. Then I've got my main in the center that's going to take up 100% of the width. And then I've got my sound sample and my social again underneath the main. And they're going to be split the screen in half, 50% each. One of the first things I'm going to do, however, is to control my wrapper. So I have set a wrapper div in my code here uh, that encapsulates everything else. And uh, to control my wrapper, what I'm going to do is my style sheet, which is blank at the moment, I'm just going to put in a wrapper selector. So the wrapper div has got an ID set to wrapper. And so to target that, I'm going to put in hash and wrapper. And then inside that, I'm going to set a max width and a min width to give some flexibility between 850 pixels in terms of max and 700 pixels in terms of min. And then I'm going to set margin left and margin right to auto. The effect of that will be, if I go back to my browser, I'll refresh, it just hems in all of the body content into the middle and I've got these nice little bits of margin either side. And that means as well when I resize my browser because I had 850 set to max and 700 set to main, I've just got that little bit of flexibility in terms of movement as well. Next, if I go back to the layout that I want to achieve, I'll see that my nav, my search, my sound sample, and my social uh, divs, they all share something in common. They're all secondary, if you like, to the main content. In this case, this layout, they all are kind of sharing 50% of the screen, um, and we would need to float them all as well. So nav, search, sound sample, and social, they all have similar things in common, so I'm going to set them to the same class. And that's what's happened already in my HTML. If I go to it, I can see that nav is set to a side, class a side, sounds is set to a side, and social is set to a side as well. So I'm going to set some rules that is going to target anything that's in the aside class. And the way that I target a class is I put a full stop or period and then put in a side. And these are the rules that I'm going to set. So I'm going to set each of those different asides to 50% width of whatever container that it's in. I'm going to set a max height of 200 pixels. That's really just for the Twitter embed. If I didn't put in a max height, a Twitter embedded feed would, would go very, very high indeed. 
I'm going to float them all. It doesn't really matter if I float them all left or right, but because we read from left to right, I usually float them left if, uh, if I have a choice. I can set a margin just towards the bottom so that the main isn't kind of um, up on top of uh, uh, the different divs in terms of nav and search at the top. The overflow I'm setting to auto. Again, that is really just for the Twitter feed uh, so that I can get a scroll bar at the side that if somebody wants to scroll through the rest of the Twitter feed to see it, they can. And just so I can see some of the different divs there and how they're panning out, temporarily I'm going to set a background color to a gray. So I'm going to save that. Let's take a look. So we can see some of the background colors coming through here. That's the nav and that's the sound bar. We're not seeing it in the actual custom search or on the tweets because all of that content takes over the whole background, so I can't see it. And that's the main parts of this layout done. So I can see that my nav bar and my search are sharing, and those are the major parts done for layout one. I have my nav bar and my custom search sharing the top line, 50% width each, both floated left. I've got my main content in my main div, no width set or no rules on it. It's just taking up that whole line and spreading across it. And then I've got my sound div and my social div, again, splitting the screen 50% each, both floated left. I might make some minor adjustments here to the top line. So the nav bar, I'm going to make the text a little bit bigger. And also I'm going to push down the margin a little bit to align it a bit better with the custom search. And also I'm going to take this auto scroll off the custom search. And I can do both of those in the, uh, in the style sheet, like so. So just adding those rules, I'll just go back, and refresh, and that looks good.